The number counter effect is an essential trick for video editors making a wide variety of content, and today we're going to create a clean looking money counter and save it as a preset so you never have to build it again. So I'm on a new timeline here, and I'm going to start by just opening the Fusion page. If you're not familiar with Fusion, don't worry, this is a simple process and we'll take it step by step. To start, I'm going to press this little button here to add a text plus node to my workflow. Now I can right click my text plus node and select edit controls. It will give us this window here where we can add a custom number counter control. Change the name from new control to counter, spelled just like this. Then go down and change the page option from user to text. Go to the right column and click the checkbox next to integer and change the range from 0 to 1 million. That will be the maximum and minimum values for our number counter and you can still freely use everything in between. And lastly, for input control, I prefer the slider option. Now we can click OK to save our custom control. And now in our inspector, we can see the number slider show up under advanced controls, but we still don't see a preview, so I have to right click my text box and then select expression. After selecting expression, we can paste in this text box the Lua script that I put in the description. Once you copy and paste the script, the number counter appears. When we adjust the slider, the number counter also changes. Commas will automatically appear, and by default you'll have a dollar sign before your numbers. You can change the prefix by entering whatever you want in the text box in place of the dollar sign next to prefix. Similarly, you can add a suffix by entering whatever you want inside the quotations next to the word suffix. You animate the money counter with keyframes. At frame 0, I want my counter to say 0, and at frame 50, I want it to say 1 million. You can also hit the left H anchor and move your text to the left to keep it from jumping around. To save this template as a preset, you can just go to the edit page and drag this fusion composition into your power bins. But we're going to make our money counter look a little nicer by customizing it here in the fusion page. I'm going to use the Poppins black font and bump up the size. If I go into the shading tab, I can go down to color type and change it to gradient to add some nice color variation. I can also click the number 2 here to add a stroke to my text. Next I'm going to press shift and space to add a scan lines node. It will add some texture and give it a nice old TV screen look. Then I'll add a soft glow node. I'll turn my glow size up but keep my gain pretty low. Then I'll add a regular glow node and decrease the values a bit so it only really affects the letters. I'm also going to add a radial blur node and decrease the strength a little bit because I think it will add to the counting effect. I'll add a camera shake node to give it some movement, but I'll make sure to turn the speed and the strength down quite a bit. That looks good to me, now we can give it a pop animation to appear on screen. I can press shift and space to add a transform node, and then set a keyframe for size at frame 0. Set size to 0, then go to frame 12 or so, and set size back to 1. I'll also go into the shading tab and do the same with my opacity. Now I need to ease my keyframes to make the animation look smooth, so I'll open up the spline editor. With only size checked, I'll select all of my points by pressing Ctrl A, then right click the box, go to ease, and select out back cubic. That will give it a nice bounce effect. To make the animation smoother, you can click back on the text node, go into your settings, and apply motion blur by checking the box. This may make playback a bit slower. You can click on the playback menu in the very top, select render cache, and hit smart. Now this little line will tell you how much is ready for playback. If you ever need to make the money counter longer or shorter, you can simply open your spline editor, select all of the points, and hit this time stretch icon to make the animation animation longer or shorter. And with our final product, we can open the edit page and then drag our fusion composition into our power bins to save it as a preset. Anything you put in your power bins will be stored across your projects. So I hope you found this video helpful. Consider leaving a like or a comment if you did, and have a fantastic rest of your day.